Hi, this is Jacob Ball, Jacob Slider with Team Card Hoarder. Uh, we're here for our first match with our Lantern Control List, uh, and this hand looks great. It has pretty much everything we want in our opener, so we're going to go ahead and keep. We have our Lantern, a Mill Engine, and the Bridge, and a Thought Seize for some, some disruption, so can't really ask for more. Alright, our opponent has Arbor Elf. Skates, not bad. I think I am just going to lead on Lantern. Because I can't reasonably uh, play Thoughtseize with Glimmer Void without any artifacts in play. I should switch these to my library, his library. Alright. Fertile ground, sure. Visionary. And our opponent is playing the Genesis Wave Mono Green Deck Devotion at this point. And so now I'm going to play Glimmer Void. Play my Bell and then Thought Seize my opponent. Oh, alright. I didn't mean to actually click on that Garrick, but that's what I was going to take. I was trying to drag his hand, but it clicked on the Garrick. It was what I was going to take, so it doesn't really matter too much, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, we'll pass. I'm fine with my opponent drawing another visionary. I know he gets another draw step. It's still not an important card. I would like to draw this abrupt decay as well, so... And next turn, I think I'm actually going to play the Spellskite and not the Bridge. Because I'll have too many cards in my hand for a Bridge to matter, uh, and they could Wolf Run me, and I can redirect it to Spellskite. So. Opponent can have more mana. Still more mana. Red? No, oh, still green. Okay. Alright. Oh, why this keeps resizing. Alright. Inventor's fair. And I will just. I could leave open. Blue mana for a spell skite, but I think it's better just to get the lantern out of my hand. Move this over further. This one resize too. It's gonna be annoying to keep track of those. <laughs> This keeps resizing though. Front ground is fine. I don't believe they have anything in their hand to draw cards. It's just a wolf run, I believe. Alright, 
So they're making a bunch of mana and wolf running for some reason. Spellskite that can kill the creatures. Right. Uh, yep. Right. Bell. Missing needle. God, this is annoying. All right. Uh, deciding if I want to draw Pithing Needle. Probably don't, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate Bell. Because I don't want him to draw Titan either, so. Oh, they have another Titan, okay. Um, I don't really want to draw an Ensnaring Bridge either. But I don't have any way to stop that, so I don't, because I'm gonna have to uh, crack a Lantern onto my opponent here, so. I'll just play Ensnaring Bridge. My turn, my opponent. Acidic Slime. Well, <laughs> that's fine, I guess. I don't really want to crack my other lantern. If they kill my lantern, they kill my lantern, but I can just redirect a spell skate, so. every single time to make them fit over there. Hopefully it just targets my ensnaring bridge. But we'll see. He targets my ensnaring bridge, I'm just gonna let it happen since I have a second one. Alright. Right. How far away is my opponent from casting a more cruel? They have five. 10, 11, 12, 13. It's not very far away. doing me too damage, but still fine. Right. Cause I can attack with a 4-4 and then I can't block, so or 4-1 I guess, but right. Two sphere is fine. It's probably bubble. Staring Bridge and my bubble can pass. And I think I'm just gonna let them have an Emmercool in their hand. Okay. 
slight chance he activates his wolf run and I gotta kill it, so he did not. Alright. Let's see here. And I'll draw that. Another someone's ring. Ranged rings, right? Gas agent strings, and pixels. Okay. This is on bottom. This that. And it will pass the turn. So I'll put my opponent to fourteen lands. Do I care if my opponent gets an Emrakul into play? I take an additional turn, but does that matter? I certainly don't want to draw this Inquisition, so I'm definitely going to bell and instep. But this as well. But the forest to be expected. So I'm just going to do the same attack that I did last turn. I'll take two. Cast an Ember Pool. I'll draw lands. Oh, I can just never mind. I want to do anything. I'm going to decay this. Black. And then I have one, two, three, four. I should just mill the Nick those. I could just mill the Nick those. Then I have to worry about a random card off the top of their deck. I should just let them have that forest and not tap this bell. That was a mistake. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight. So it's six mana. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that is enough to cast it still. Is they're just getting a free draw step in an Emrakul onto the battlefield. I think I'm just gonna do this. Alright. We hit. Alright. I drew a card that didn't matter. Okay. 
Can I have a bond of growth? Cannot have that card though. I'll respond with a bell because I don't really want a thought seize. Seder is fine. I guess then I'll let them cast their Emrakul. I mean, I guess it's fine to let them cast Emrakul. I really just don't want that in their deck at any point. Right. Codex Shredder them. Pixis. Certainly don't want him to have that card either. Casting the Merc Rule. I will Codex Shredder them. Chukabog. It's fine to stay on top of the library for now because I want to draw the screen. Play the crane. Find nothing. Perfect. Is that bog? Right. Get Rick. Does Garrick even matter? I don't think so. No. I have Garrick. It's not getting him out of thing here, so just lets I have more mana. Store Tesseract, so. Alright, things I want. I definitely want needles. Um, cage actually stops Genesis Wave. Crumble can shut off his Nykthos. I might want welding jar post board too, but I'm not sure what I'm taking out. I don't think I really need spellskites, but it could be post board that I want it still. I don't know what I'm really taking with Inquisition. So maybe it's just Inquisition. Everything I want to take costs. I guess uh, Genesis Wave does cost three, so I can't actually take it with Inquisition, but <clears throat> I think it's the weakest card in my deck against what they're doing, because all their cards are like the same, and I can't take their payoffs like Garrick or Primeval Titan or something like that. 
So, and I just cut those. And question is, do I want spell guide or welding jar? I assume they're going to have lots of ways to kill my stuff, so I probably want welding jar. That shuts off. You just don't need this pithing needle. We're doing some welding jars. I don't know if I need a prep decay either. over to K's maybe. Shipping all these seems like I could possibly get burned by that. Maybe I just leave in one, cut this bubble. Yeah, I'll we'll try this. Alright, and we're back. So uh opponent took a break I guess. Sand has Thoughtseize and Snaring Bridge, Shredder, and an Opal. I think I have to keep this, even though it's missing Lantern and a way to find Lantern, but Snaring Bridge should buy me a decent amount of time, as long as I can cast it. I only need to find one more artifact or one more land to do so, so I'm going to keep Probably gonna lead on Glimmer Void, Opal, Thoughtseize. But. I'm gonna tap Stopping Ground. I'll still mold the five, it looks like. Well, no, I don't have to lead on Glimmer Void. Makes me feel safer. I have an Ancient Grudge and a bunch of lands. Okay. I burned one half that Ancient Grudge, I guess. <coughs> I'm just not going to play my Opal. Your Utopia Sprawl. Bridges. Um, sick. Wolfram. Sure. Myself. Guess the stirrings, look for lantern, found lantern. I'd like to take, maybe I should have taken the academy actually, but. Use my mana more efficiently and just cast an ensnaring bridge. 
so I can get my whole hand going next turn if I draw land or something like that. That's fine. This turn, I'm actually going to play the lantern. Alright, I want to draw Tesseret, and they can have a Voyaging Seder. fetch land that could come into play here at some point, but to change up their top card, try to leave it there. Definitely worth making note of. Get it for one. It's fine. Land. Tesseract. Plus this, assuming I'm probably going to take nothing. I get my Tesseract attack for one to get another bell. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Right. I could just take the opal, but I want more bells, so. I can have a sprawl. Tree. Nice all. Right, opponent didn't want to play into my Tesseret, so. Alright, on to the next one. 